Hi there, I'm Alex with QC Charge. Today I'm going to show you how to check your speed sensor for coolant leakage on a 2014 through 2017 Mercedes B Class or B250E. The easiest way to check your speed sensor on the B Class is going to be to access it from the side. So we're going to turn the wheels all the way to the right, and there's an access panel here. And you can see there is one clip right there. And there's a screw up here with an 8mm head. We're going to remove both of those, and then this flap will just open up, and then we can see the speed sensor. So first we're going to remove this clip. We need to pry out the center part. You can do that with a little flathead screwdriver. It's a little bit tight and tricky, but once you get it started, you can just pull that center part out of there. like so, and then the clip itself should just pull right out, and then we're going to remove the screw up here with an 8mm socket, you can do it with a wrench, but I've got an impact driver right here. Now that those are out of the way, we can open the flap, and you can see the speed sensor right up in here. We're going to unplug this connector and then remove the 10 millimeter bolt that holds the sensor in. So we'll just open that up and then we'll remove the bolt. And then the speed sensor should just pull right out of there. And you can see this one is pretty disgusting. Also make sure to check the hole where the sensor goes. If we're looking for any kind of goop in there, liquid, whatever the case may be. As you can see, this one is clearly leaking coolant into the motor. Here's a couple examples of what you might find when you remove the speed sensor from your Toyota RAV4 EV or Mercedes B-Class. This one right here, you can see is pretty clean. Nothing wrong with that. If you see that, you're all good to go. This one right here, you can see there's a lot of moisture on it, little droplets of coolant. If you see that, you know that your uh, coolant seal is starting to leak and it's going to need to be addressed in the very near future. Otherwise, you can end up with this one right here. This is what happens when the motor is starting to seize get a lot of rust buildup, and all that rust is just being ground away by the motor, and it just causes this buildup of crap. If you see that in there, you know that um, your motor is not doing very well, and it needs to be addressed immediately.